have two different types. Uh, one is a three part and the other is a five part. The smaller sizes, the 516 through half inch diameter are what is being shown right now. So the sleeve and the collar, which is here that we're holding on with the wrench, is actually all one piece. You've got the cone nut, which is another, and then the bolt itself. But when we torque this down, basically the cone pushes back into sleeve and spreads it out on the back side. The reason why this is a three part is we are not worried because we can get a perfect crease because the sleeve is pretty thin for those. But when we start getting to the larger ones, look at this red dashed line and see what happens as we're tightening it. The rubber washer collapses and we draw the sleeve, which restrains the base material on one side and then the collar on the fixture side and brings them closer together. The whole point is that when we get up to these large of uh, hollow bolts, the sleeve steel starts getting thicker. We don't get a perfect crease right there directly behind the base material. So there might be a little bit of, uh, for lack of a better word, slop in that connection. And then all of a sudden you go to load it up and the thing sort of settles into place. What that rubber washer does is it compresses during the installation process, thereby putting a higher axial force on that or compression force on that connection. So that's why we call our little rubber washer the high clamping force mechanism.